Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here. And we are back in Outlaws of the Wild West. Or is it of the West? I don't remember. It's something like that. Does it say the name? It doesn't say the name. Anyway, I'm probably just going to refer to it as Outlaws because, yeah, that's me. That's me for you. But anyway, today I'm wanting to do some stuff, guys. I am wanting to check out some of these tables and forges and all this kind of stuff so we can make a forge right off hand so let's make a forge and we will start with that um, table saw needs leather carpentry bench we can make a carpentry bench so let's make that Brick fireplace, brick forge. I don't have bricks though. Smoker. Metal workbench. Yeah, okay. So we're going to do that. And I think we're going to use... What is this? Tannery? Yeah, I think so. We're going to use that tannery. And we're going to see what we can do with stuff. Now, can I... Haha. -ha. Can we... Ah, we can rotate it. Okay, so I kind of want to put you, like, in the corner here. But then again, I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll do it sideways. Mmm, I don't know. I don't know, there's so many decisions. Should I put it in the middle? put it in the middle right there booyah got it oh and it does extend up through the ceiling if your ceiling is short enough I don't know if I think ours might have been too tall oh no it's stuck out so see it gives a nice little added feature to the house alright so we got that here is our little workbench. We can put it, like, oh, I don't know. Probably right next to the forge. That'd probably be alright with me. Forge, and then this tannery. Yeah, I didn't think so. It wouldn't let me place it inside last time either, so. Um... And for some reason, there's this odd, like, perimeter around the buildings that it doesn't let you build in for some reason. I don't know why. Alright, so it said we needed a leather. We only have... Oh, we only have one raw... Wait, we had more raw hide a minute ago because we had killed that one dude. Does it spoil? Yeah, 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 I hear you're hungry. Eat some food. Huh. Okay, so I'm a little bit confused here. But that's not anything super new, so it'll be alright. Let's go ahead and see how, how do we do this. We need to do what? Iron bar, gold bar, silver bar, and a brick. Okay, so does it just take it out of my inventory? Yes, it does. Can I do, like, multiples? Like, I don't even know what we're doing here. Give me, like, ten logs, I guess? Ignite? And I'm just gonna... Well, hold on, I don't know if anything takes, like, raw... Oh, let's see, that takes iron ore. Okay, yeah, let's craft some of this stuff real quick. That takes a metal... Eh... Throwing knife? Ooh, we can make a town bell. We can call in the troops. A mailbox. 
a storage box O2, but you need planks for it as well. So that's one thing I'm having a little bit of trouble figuring out here, guys, is the building progression. Like, like for your craft tables, like, okay, so we were able to make this bench and there's a storage box in that bench, but we could also make another storage box in our regular inventory if we had the leather to build or to make the table saw to make the planks, which you gotta have for that other one anyway, so there's a little bit of I don't know if I wanna say confusion, but like I don't know. It, it's it's a little bit weird. Some of it is just a bit weird, guys. Actually, hold up. Is this the table I needed to make? No, it's not, is it? Okay, so I thought I could make the lasso here, but... The lasso's not in our regular crafting, is it? No, I don't think it is. No, I think we need like a sewing table like this thing or something. I don't know. I do not know, guys. Okay, so... We need planks. We need ropes. Got ropes. Spinning wheel. We might need a spinning wheel. I don't think I want my stone tools anymore. And we never really used the stone spear, so... Er, I wish the hotbar was bigger. That's one... That is going to be my first complaint of this game. Is that the hotbar is so tiny. I really would like a bigger hotbar. To be honest, ooh, there's our lasso. We need ten rope. Oh, that's a lot of rope. I'm on here though. How did that give us? That gave us ten. Oh yeah, we're gonna try to get us a horse. Because our next little endeavor is to find animals, kill them, so that we can get the hide off of them. And it is nighttime. Can I make a bed? Hold on. Beds. Where is a bed? Did I move? What is this? Fish trap, campfire, shit, snare. I wonder if I should make some of these. Cloth bandage. Wagons. Bounty board. See, there's all kinds of stuff in here, guys. It's kind of cool. About in here, can I make a bed in here? Ooh, I can make a bed. I need, I need planks though. Okay, so I guess the table saw or, or whatever it is is like very important to early progression in the game. Well, that's all right. We're gonna run over here and we're gonna see if that horse is still here. And it, and it could be, and it could be one of those we can get it easy and then it'll be stuck and glitched out. But we'll see what happens. Because I don't know. I don't know. I've gotten a horse one time before. And I will admit the first time I got it, it was bugged. And it was bugged to the point of where, like, I could hold down shift and run. And its run was like not even a trot and then I got off of it and got back on it and it ran again so you know 
one of those things to be mindful early access you're going to have special circumstances to deal with so this is where the horse was in fact he was like right here and I have not exited out the game since we saw it so we've been in the game the whole time so he must have Oh, there he is. Hi, Mr. Horsey. You want to come live with me, don't you? And no, you can't run while you're doing your lasso thing here. Just so you know, guys. Oh, we missed. Okay. Oh, we missed again. Uh-oh. Got him. Alright, so you gotta click when your little slider goes over the red bar. Oh, we missed. Got him. And that's how you get yourself a horse. Now... All right, Mustang horse, huh? We don't even need a saddle for it. Yay, this one runs. No issues here. Ooh, and we can shoot our bow off of it. We can be like wild Indian riders of the plains. I wonder. Ooh, I could chase you down. Oh yeah. Some one mule deer down. I don't know what that noise was. Hopefully it was just my horsey. My horsey horsey. While we're up here, do we need? Uh, we could probably use a little bit of, a little bit of. Well, no, we got wood. I just saw that other stack of a hundred. Oh, that must be the buffalo up there making that noise. No, guys, you cannot pick your arrows back up, unfortunately. So, a shot arrow is a wasted arrow. There we go. Yes. See, I'm digging this, being able to shoot from horseback. I didn't know you could do that the first time I played. This just made the game, like, super awesome for me. There's some funky music. The music pops on. It just said I gained plus two to something up there. I don't know what it was. It's in the top right hand corner, guys. I don't know what it said, but it said I gained plus two to something. Oh, that does remind me. We do have levels on this game. And I have neglected to use any of my points for it. We probably ought to do that here in just a sec. I'm going to leave my horse in there. Oh, you also have to... Yeah, you have to make it stay. And yes, the menu doesn't really have, you know, names on it until you scroll over it or mouse over it, whatever you want to call it. But it's easy enough to figure out. I do want to make a leather, though. Alright, got my leather. Let me get some water. There we go. Got some water. Let me eat a little bit. 
there we go all right now we can look at the level system here guys all right so as you see we are level three and as you see here we have eight skill points so as you see these bars they say 250 zero out of 250 that's how many points you can put into each one now I'm not exactly sure how many a point does so we're gonna check this out uh, we're gonna start with our energy and as you see we got five more energy from one point so I'm thinking of going like 120 on our energy so that if I have to do anything on foot I got a little bit extra energy now um, weight I don't know if I do any on weight because like I said we carried all that stuff hardly any weight now our combat and our accuracy okay so combat is for melee accuracy is obviously range damage I'm gonna go with accuracy I'm gonna go ahead and put four points in our accuracy and yeah that way we're like deadly with uh, with the bow here all right so we're here we're ready we're about to do some more stuff that table saw is what I'm needing so let's get that table saw crafted real quick are you still running off of that yes you are extinguish come on you can do it and one table saw yay table saw we're gonna make some board I want that storage box oh you can also make paper here don't ask me why you can make paper in a table saw but you know apparently you can get a pretty fine precise cut off of this uh, off of this table saw if you can make paper on it actually I think I need a couple more let me go ahead and grab this five though first thing I want to do is I want to make a box here we go okay why didn't it make the box oh because I need a two row okay I gotcha don't you worry about me I know what I'm doing maybe possibly probably not all right so I'm thinking I'm just gonna put the box like over here in the corner just like that I'm gonna toss some of the stuff like the coal and what else do I want to I don't know what I want to put in there maybe the pill the lasso we don't really need the lasso right now building hammer can go in there we're not building at the moment uh, we got berries and stuff I don't know I don't know let's see if we can clean up our inventory a little bit that's one thing I don't like is how it pulls out of different stacks I'm like no pull out of one stack until it's zeroed how high can that yeah there you go okay so we got that oh I do need the hammer still I forgot hold up my bad we need the door to the building um, that's why I made the extra planks I remember one log door which once again doesn't look like a log door but you know looks like a plank door to me where there's our horsey oh and guys your horses have levels as well 
me see here. How do I access it? F. Ha ha. So as you can see, the horse doesn't have a level yet, but it's almost there, and you can do it the same way. You can up its energy, and for some reason, this one already had... Oh, no, that's me. Hold up. How do I do the horse? I did the horse one day. Maybe it has to have the level first. Hold on. Take all items. Open, open mount inventory. There you go. Here's our stuff for our horse. My bad. My bad. This is how you do it. Yeah, it has no points on anything yet, but yeah, here you go. This is how you take care of your horsey. As you can see, our horse is a little bit thirsty. Um, we do have the option of giving it water, but we gotta have a bucket. Okay, so how do we get a bucket? Where do we get a bucket from? I'm not really seeing a bucket anywhere. I mean, there's a well, but I don't really need a well if I'm right next to a river, right? Maybe it's in one of the benches? Bucket! What do we need? We need planks. So, back over here. Okay, that'll make eight planks. That'll give us our bucket. Oh, how much for the bed? We need a bed. Uh, 15 planks, so we're going to need a lot of stuff. Okay. I think we make canvas over here. Yes. Okay, so let's make some canvas. Okay, so we did not get enough to make, uh, to make the bed like we wanted. Oh yeah, we got dragged from over here. But that's okay. While we're out here, though, I want to take a look at, so does it spoil? This has to have a spoil timer on it. I don't know. We're going to make us some stuff. We're going to make us a pair of boots. And I don't have enough for gloves. Okay. Well, we're making a pair of boots anyway. I really thought we had more uh, more rawhide than that. Yay. This is going to be a good one right here, guys. Boom. Oh, yeah. Look at us. Hold up. Hold up. Let me get into like a clear spot. Check out our boots. Oh, they are so cool. Okay, get me out of there. I don't want to see my dude in his undies. Alright, so it seems like we need to gather more wood. Kill some more animals. Actually, can I make... I probably can't make any... Well, I can make a few. Needed some arrows. We're out of arrows again. And we're just going to stop here. Bust out our new axe. Oh, and you can hit your horse, guys, so when you're running up here to get, like, wood and stuff, I would recommend leaving the horse back just a hair, because you can hit it, it can get injured, and I think it can die. I mean, it has all the survival stats that the person has, so you got to be careful with your horsey. I will admit, the 
corners, they have smoothed it out like a lot since that first time I played a couple days ago. When the first time I played, when you would get off a horse, like I would stop here, hop off, and then my horse would continue on like two or three feet after I got off because it was just kind of glitchy. So, like I said, I am pleased at the amount of effort that the devs are putting into this game. I really think that they want to make a good, solid game, and there is good potential for that here, guys. I mean, I don't know how far single player is going to go, so I can't tell you, tell you for the people who play single player that, you know, this is going to be like the super most awesomest game ever, unless you just like being a cowboy and doing cowboy stuff. Um, but it does seem like, you know, for the multiplayer aspect, that it has some solid stuff in it. Alright, that gave us a little bit of wood. Yeah, and what is this? Okay, so our food is spoiling. What is our... Yeah, our spoiled percentage on that's kind of low. That's good, though. How's our horsey doing? Hey, our horsey has skill points. Um, let's put it into its energy. And we'll give it one more on its health. Just, you know, just because. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if the bears and the kitties and stuff like that will actively attack on this game. They might? I don't know. Speaking of which, I don't really see a whole lot of animals right now. Even the buffalo are kind of gone. I say that, and there is a deer. Oh, don't you move at the last second, the antelope. And yes, I know, I did call it a deer a second ago. I didn't realize it was an antelope. There we go, pronghorn down. There's another one, but I need to get... We only got raw meat off of that guy. That's kind of disappointing. <laughs> and down goes the white tail. So it is interesting that they do have different types of animals. Like we've killed a mule deer, we've killed a white tail, we've killed a pronghorn. I mean, so they have a variety of animals in here, which is cool. Now, I don't know if they do that with all the animals, you know, different types or not. Because I've only seen like one type of bear, I've only seen one type of pig, uh, one type of kitty, you know, that type of stuff. So... I don't know. I want some gloves. Sorry. We'll do the shirt next time. Right now we're getting gloves. Boots and gloves. That's what we're going to rock with. Let's go ahead and gloves go up here. Oh yeah, we got some gloves, buddy. We are rocking it now. We are the underwear bandit. Oh, that's still a thing. Look at this, guys. Tell me what is wrong with this picture. There we go. Simple little fix, but it does glitch out every once in a while. Um, I'm going to cook this meat before it all goes bad in my inventory. Yeah, we're just going to let all that cook. See how much we can get cooked. Alright, we were needing planks. Uh, 
Alright, now I know we were... Really? I know we were gonna make the bed. There was something else I needed planks for, though. And now I'm drawing a blank. Okay, we need rope and we need canvas. So... We need 15 rope? Is that what that says? Uh-oh. How much did we get? Of course we would be one short. Oh. Oof. Oh, you're not plant fiber. Onward, valiant steed. We need to search for the fiber. Are you fiber? No, you are not fiber. I think this is hemp, but does hemp give us fiber? gave us two. There we go. Oh, we can't... Yeah, we get a little plant fiber from that. Okay, so those, I guess, are trees? Yeah, maybe. Yes, a rope. We're gonna get our bed. That is a badger, guys. I'm not sure why it's making the clucking sound like a chicken, but that is a badger. Killed an American badger. Let me off. And we got a pelt off of that. Well, that is awesome. Yes, I'm not exactly sure on the coyote. Chase it down. Kill it. Go, horsey. Through the water. We must kill the menace. Oh, we're out of arrows. Oh, well, never mind. Lucky day, Coyote. Your lucky day. I need to get on making more arrows, I think. Yay, jumpy. Yes, the horses do jump. Whoa. Okay, so don't hop off your horse at high speed. Apparently, it's still a little buggy when you do that. Throw that off in there. There you go. Come on now. Let me get some water. Give me this. Oh yeah, making a bed, guys. We are making a bed. Okay, so what other things can we make? We can make a canteen. That could be useful. A whiskey keg. Ah, that's going to be real useful right there. Yep. Alright, here is our bed. Um, we're going to place it under the window. That way we can look out at night and stars. There we go. E to interact. Owned by me. No. Yeah, set spawn. Okay. 
Well, there you go, guys. So we've gotten a little bit done today. We've built some stuff. We've hunted down some animals. We got our horsey. Look at our beautiful horsey here. Um, yeah, so, so far it's a pretty cool game. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure on the progression as far as what table to build first and this and that. I'm still trying to figure that out a little bit, but I'm liking it. I am liking it, guys, and I hope y'all are too. But anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, guys, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself, guys. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment to thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared, guys. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.